Hi, welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. In recent videos I covered some modifications to my middle drill. I put a power lift and a steady to stop the z-axis losing its registration. But there's one more thing left to do, coming up after this. The steady will hold it in place for small work such as drilling and light milling, but for anything else you still need to clamp that head to make sure it stays nice and solid. You still need to tighten the two bolts in the back to keep the head solid. I keep a couple of ring spanners attached on magnets to do this, but it's still quite tedious. You can't leave them on, they rattle loose. My answer was to make these two items. It consists of a bit of bar drilled through and tapped to match the nuts. Mine were half inch by 12, yours might be different. The important bits are the four way holes so you can get 90 degree alignment and there are different lengths so one can overlap the other. The wrong one goes to the top of course and it's a matter of a couple of seconds to tighten them and to loosen. And of course you can see at a glance whether it's tight or not. I won't go into details, everyone has their own way of making things like this and it all depends on what materials you have to hand. It's more the idea. Having fitted them, I can't believe I took so many years to get round to making them. They really do make life a lot easier. With practice you can do two at once, single handed. If you caught my previous videos on the mill, yes I did get round to making a chain guard. Well, that's the last modification I hope to make to my mill. We'll, we'll see about that. Hope you found it interesting. More next time. Bye for now.